Welcome to Rune Knights, the game that's all about a shit ton of enemies and awesome modded weapons. This game is a blast to play, we got a half-assed character creation, but it's not that important because Rune Knights excel at pure, unadulterated gameplay. So let's dive into the beautiful yet deadly world of Rune Knights as we watch me get jumped by a bunch of spiders and trying to 1v1 a giant spider and getting my ass lit up. So happy new year's my outcast and this is the first video of the new year and man thank you guys and all of the support we're so close to my goal of 250 subscribers we're currently at 198 subs right now and i'm just happy and proud that the outcast family is building and growing into a healthy community so let's get to business this year by providing you guys with funny story-based gameplays of your favorite or brand new titles in the mmo RPG and indie gaming world. Next is the synopsis of Rune Knights as I mentioned earlier, the game that clapped my cheeks worse than the Dark Souls tutorial boss. The synopsis of Rune Knights is a cooperative action RPG focused on customization, crafting, and combat. Customize your character's aesthetics and stats and the gameplay as you battle through procedurally generated and handcrafted levels and let me tell you what. I've ventured through the first three levels of this game and the world of Rune Knights is really bland and empty, but I believe the game thrives more on the actual combat and modded weapons. And since the game is still in early development, I'd love to see more life brought to the game like NPCs and a little tune up on the core gameplay mechanics, like the actual combat. That is it. It's a little too clunky and the game is a bit laggy. As well, I am planning on the decent PC of a 1660 overclock Ventus and a Ryzen CPU 2700X. But other than that, the game is pretty simple and very straightforward. The certain mobs you come across we are really average, there's not much difference in variant types. Like you have spiders, you have orcs, and some royal knights. You are allowed to upscale the enemies to your level, but it seems the game's difficulty has drastically changed and that means my ass got clapped harder than getting Fusro Dodd off a mountain in Skyrim. Corny, right? But never mind that. The most fun I've had was running up ahead first into battle with my different builds and seeing how well did each one work. Oh, did I forget to mention, the game has a class system but not your average class that you might think of. With the different variety of weapons, you can focus on different builds. The weapons i found so far is a sword, to the bow and arrow, to a mace, and to a staff, and a little mechanic called focus, which basically you're using magic from something like a catalyst. As well to go with it is a very interesting talent tree of eight different talents of what I've seen. Different play styles you can base your character off of. I had fun playing as a straight two-handed tank by utilizing a ground smash ability. Oh, that is satisfying. Or when I grabbed a powerful mace and hand magic duo, which led to some spicy destruction. I can't hit the barrels? Oh, I was about to say. Let me get them barrels. Enemies are going to spawn. This is too quiet. Behind me. Yep, come here. Come here. Oh, 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 fold it. Look at him. Look at him. He had to sit down for a sec. I got this mace for your head, dog. Oh. Now there is a little hefty little stone called the runes or others that are just like it which lets you reroll any modifications on any of your weapons or armor. Oh, over the... 
Hey man, that's a little sus of you dog. It's a little sus. It's a little sus. That meditation is a very good perk. When you run, every time you finish a battle, just meditate. It restores stamina too, like, ah, comes handy. So the build that I have so far is that it's a mage slash, like I have like no defense. So that's why I have the vampiric touch and I got something I, I was bleeding as well since I don't got much defense and mainly just offense I need something to So that's the biggest issue is trying to fight them all at once. I feel like that's, but you never know when they're going to appear. I got stun locked. Okay. Oh, vote it. Vote it. Nah, it's just me and you. Nah, it's just me and you. Sorry, I had to cheat the system. Sorry, dude. All right, this this game is difficult. It feels like I'm playing like a beat 'em up action Dark Souls. Oh, there's more. Give me your pants. Whoa. Oh, we got gear? Oh. Okay. Summon Firefly? This is Mr. Goo. Oh. Oh, that's fast. Hey, I got a new ability. And I get to summon a little butterfly. Oh, look at him. Can I summon my... Dear God, I have army. Let's go, butterflies. Attack! Oh, there's more. 
Attack! My butterflies! Attack! 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 Oh, they're... Oh, I popped him. Popped his melon. Ugh. Beat him. Get him. He over here, dog. Beat his hat. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, you just got... You just got jumped by a bunch of butterflies. So I can only have three. What if I... Up Ooh. I like the fact... It, feel it gives me that Elbion Online vibe. where I could just customize anything I want. And full, like, assault build I just did. So the sword itself gives me ground smash. The helmet gives me siphon strike. The chest gives me... Oh, wait. Empowering aura. I can't use that. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, he's following me. Ah. All right, boys and gals. I'm gonna we're just gonna wrap up the brand new episode, season three of gameplays and first impressions. Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing, liking. Please like the video. You guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to join the Discord, you can. You want to follow me on any social medias, Twitter, Instagram, I'm over there. And I do live stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays around 8 to 9 p.m. Follow me on Twitter, and I give you any updates on that. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy holidays. Let's welcome in 2021 with a brand new fresh start. And let's crush these goals everybody has. And as always, Outcast. And until next time, it's been your boy, KSD TV, signing out. Peace. I don't wanna break down. I've been losing faith now. I've been in my mind.